Banco Santander and the National Australia Bank are among at least four companies that have expressed interest in buying a part of the Royal Bank of Scotland's branch network in the UK. Judith Bogner is here, of course, so with more details on that. And Judith, just take us through exactly what is at stake in this deal. 318 branches of the uh, UK's uh, Royal Bank of Scotland network. The deadline for those bids, just in case you would have been interested, expired yesterday afternoon at 5 p.m. And we know uh, that potential bidders include two, the two you already said, also another Spanish bank, Banco Bilbao, and also Virgin Money. Uh, Richard Branson is involved here, of course, and also private equity seems to be interested. JC Flowers apparently has put in a bid as well. Now, Banco Santander, we know, is already heavily invested in the UK. They already uh, have bought Abbey National, Alliance Leicester, and the deposit business of Bradford and Bingley. Um, and of course, they have to sell these branches uh, to comply with EU regulations after they uh, uh, received some government bids. So uh, they will not get rid of everything. They still have 2,250 altogether. Uh, in you did t tell us what would Banco Santander, BBVA, uh, and Virgin Money? have to gain from buying part of RBS? Quite a stake in the UK banking market because we're talking here. If you, if, you, if you take these 318 branches out of Robbing Scotland, you would look at the UK's six biggest banks. So we're not talking peanuts here. Uh, you'd look at 5% of uh, Britain's small business and uh, mid-sized corporate markets, 1.8 million uh, retail customers, so about 2% of the retail market, 6,000 staff, so quite an attractive asset because you don't have to build it. It's there. Okay, Judith, thanks very much.